Good day students and friends. Welcome to the second session on limits. Today we will discuss two concepts. The neighborhood of a point and deleted neighborhood of a point. These two definitions are very important to understand the epsilon delta definition of limit. Neighborhood of a point. To understand neighborhood of a point, first we will discuss the definition of absolute value function or the modulus function. Absolute value function or the modulus function. Absolute value of x or modulus of x is defined as x when x is positive. It is equal to 0 when x is 0 and it is minus x when x is negative. Let us take example. So absolute value of 2 is 2. Absolute value of minus 2 is minus of minus 2 which is 2. So when you say absolute value we discard the sign and we only consider the numerical value. What does this mean? On a real number line. Graphically, this absolute value can be understood as the distance of the specific point from the origin. So, modulus of x represents the distance of x from the origin. So, let's take this example of 2. 2 is this point. 2 is this point. Now, the distance of the point 2 from the origin is 2. Likewise, the distance of the point minus 2 from the origin is 2. So we can say that mod x is the distance of the point x or minus x from the origin. So this is a geometrical understanding of modulus. Let's move further. Consider modulus of x minus a is equal to delta. From the definition of modulus, we can have two conditions. If x minus a is positive, which means x is greater than a, then modulus of a positive number is the number itself. So you may get x minus a is equal to delta, which means x is a plus delta. In the second case, if x minus a, the quantity within the modulus is negative, that is when x is less than a, when x is less than a, then modulus of x minus a becomes minus of x minus a. Modulus of a negative number is the negative of that number. So this becomes equal to delta. From here we get minus comes to this side and we get x is equal to a minus delta. On the real number line, we see a is here, a plus delta is here and a minus delta is here. The distance between these two points is delta and the distance between a and a minus delta is again delta. So this means modulus of x minus a equal to delta gives two values of x. x is equal to a plus delta and x is equal to a minus delta. So these are the two points x is equal to a plus delta x is equal to a minus delta. So modulus of x minus a equal to delta will give us two points x which are at a distance of delta from a. Again, modulus of x minus a equal to delta gives us two values of x which are at a distance of delta from the point a. x is a plus delta which is at a distance of delta from a and x is a minus delta which is at a distance delta from a. Now let us consider this inequality. x minus a 
less than delta. What does this mean? Again, two cases when x minus a is greater than 0 and x minus a is less than 0. So if x minus a is greater than 0, which implies x is greater than a, we get x minus a less than delta, which implies x is less than a plus delta. Similarly, if x minus a is negative, that is, when x is less than a, then modulus of x minus a is minus of x minus a, which is less than delta. Now, when we take a negative sign, suppose we multiply a negative sign in an inequality, the inequality reverses. This is from the basic number line theory. When you multiply with a minus 1, then the inequality reverses. So we get x is greater than a minus delta. So on the real number line, when we observe, this inequality gives all values of x greater than a and less than a plus delta, which means it is indicative of this region. And the second inequality, this one, x has to be less than a, but x, x is greater than a minus delta. So x is greater than a minus delta, but lesser than a. So what do we observe? This inequality, modulus of x minus a less than delta, represents all values of x, which lie between a minus delta and a plus delta. So this, it represents all values of x, which are in the delta neighborhood of a. This is delta. This distance is delta. X takes all those values in between a minus delta and a plus delta, which are, which are at a distance of delta from a. So we call this as the delta neighborhood of a. So modulus of x minus a less than delta is the delta neighborhood of a. One important observation that in this definition, x can take the value a. Why? Because if x takes the value a, then x minus a will be 0. And 0 will naturally be less than delta. Here it is assumed that delta is a positive value. Now let us consider another similar inequality. Modulus of x minus a is greater than 0 but less than delta. Where delta is a small positive value. When x is greater than a, x minus a is greater than 0, then modulus of x minus a will be x minus a. Now we add a throughout the inequality. So we get x lies between a and a plus delta. Here we should note that x cannot take the value a because x is greater than a. If x takes the value a, then modulus of x minus a will be equal to 0, but this inequality will not be valid. Now consider the other case when x minus a is negative, that is when x is less than a. When x is less than a or x minus a is less than 0, then modulus of x minus a as minus of x minus a. Now we multiply with minus sign throughout. When we do so, minus sign of 0 is 0, but inequality reverses. Inequality reverses. We get minus delta is less than x minus a less than 0. Just writing the same inequality in not greater than form but less than form. That's all. This and this are the same inequality. Now add a all sides. We get a minus delta less than x less than a. Now let us look at the real number line. So on the near, on the real number line, the solution to this inequality is that x lies between a and a plus delta. So this is the region and x lies between a minus delta and a. This is the region. However, x is not equal to 
A. So this point A is omitted. Values of X are within the delta neighborhood of A. However, A is not included. Therefore, modulus of X minus A lying between 0 and delta is the deleted delta neighborhood of A. Deleted delta neighborhood of A. So when we say deleted delta neighborhood of A, it is neighborhood of A but not including A.